This is Twit. Google recently released its latest entry in the, uh, I would say, crowded true wireless earbuds market, and that is the Pixel Buds Pro. I was hoping to have mine in hand before this interview, but alas, they have not delivered yet. Um, and now, uh, Phil Nickinson from Digital Trends did a comparison between the Pixel Buds Pro and Apple's AirPods Pro, and I think that's a comparison that a lot of people are going to be curious about. So here he is. Welcome to the show, Phil. Hey, good to be back. Long time, man. Yeah, it's been too long. It's really good to see you and uh, have you on talking about about this. Because actually, I'm I've always been a fan of the Pixel Buds, even though I know they had their connectivity issues and whatever. But they tend to be the ones that I really reach for most of the time. Every once in a while, I'll go for my Jabra Elites, but uh, lately, it's the Pixel Buds all the way. So I love them. Were you a fan of of the originals or the A series? What were your thoughts? I've gone back and forth for a long time. I haven't used the A-series. I have the, the the OGs, which Simon Cohn reminds me are actually the second generation Pixel Buds. The first generation were wired. I totally forgot about that. Oh, that's that. right. Yes. Yeah. They are, they are, look, they're earbuds, okay? Google is not reinventing the wheel here. But what it is yeah. really doing is adding some, some much needed features that have been missing for a while that weren't there in the A-series uh, and that a lot of people are, are adding. And it was Google's turn to do it. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Um, so, how exactly do these do these uh, new model or the new model? Uh, which, by the way, before we move on, I totally i I saw my eyes caught um, your leather case for the Pixel Buds. That looked really, really nice. Uh, I got to get me one of those. But how do these new ones put the pro in Pixel Buds? What's so pro about them? I, re I really think the word pro comes down to noise cancellation. It's that simple. Okay. And that's what has been missing in the past. They've done passive noise cancellation. Now we have active noise cancellation, which is where the microphones in the earbuds themselves, which I'm wearing right now, will mm. suck in the ambient sound and spit it back to you to cancel everything out. And you know, generally speaking, they all do it the same way, right? But Apple will yep. tune things a little differently than Google will, than, than any of the other companies. So yeah, everything's a little different. These are earbuds, though, so at the end of the day, it really comes down to personal preference. And that's where it's, it's tricky with earbuds, right? I have a hard mm -hmm. time describing to you, you know, my ears versus your ears. Uh, sure. Everything is going to be a little different to everybody. Uh, the, the, the real basic high-level you know, thing is these are really close to the AirPods Pro. They're really, mm. really close. They fit different. They feel different. They sound a little different. Uh, that's not to say bad. Uh, that's not to say the noise cancellation is worse. It's just a little different. I found that these let in a little more high frequencies. Uh, I can hear things with these, even when noise cancellation is turned on like it is right now, that I can't hear with the AirPods Pro. Maybe that's due to the fit. Maybe the, the ear yeah, tips are ceiling. just a little different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, these, these feel like they're sitting a little little higher, a little more outside than the AirPods Pro do. So if you don't like that feeling of something down in your ear, and, and not that yeah. either of them are really in your ear canal, um, but these just feel lighter. Uh, they haven't felt like they're going to fall out yet. I've been wearing these to the gym every almost every day since I've had them. Uh, I switched back the AirPods Pro a couple times just to get that comparison. I enjoy this feel uh, a little bit more at the gym. I enjoy, as much as I really enjoy like the, the feeling of being in an, an uh, ana, uh, I can't say it today, anechoic chamber and, and having that vacuum in my head, There's there are yeah. times you want that. The gym isn't one of those times for me. I need to hear when, you know, a weight goes flying off somebody's bar and it's coming at my head, right? I, I want to have a little <laughs> bit of situational awareness. On an airplane, yeah. it's a different story. Um, and I haven't gotten to wear these on a plane yet, though I do live next to an airport, and I can tell you the ANC does a really good job of canceling out the noise of an airplane taking off. Um, so the long story short is Google's done a really, really good job with these. And I think the, the big question you have to ask yourself is actually a simple one. Are you using Android or are you using iOS? Um, you know, if you're using iOS, you're going to get more out of the AirPods Pro that you wouldn't get out of the uh, out of the Pixel Buds Pro. But that said, I've been using these with an iPhone every day. <laughs> so, uh, OK, yeah, new Phil is uh, using all different platforms now. Well, I mean, so I've I've only, you know, put a pair of AirPods in and they weren't these like the ceiling uh, kind of pro versions of the AirPods in my ear. They were more the ones that kind of rest in there. And I'm just generally yep. I'm not a huge fan of that style. So I haven't had a whole lot of AirPod experience, but but I, I'm pretty certain that Apple has certain features that that work with their AirPods that 
those AirPods aren't going to have those same features if they're on Android. Is the reserve is the opposite true? Are there features that the Pixel Buds uh, afford to uh, to Android users that Apple users don't get to enjoy? Yeah, there's a specific Pixel Buds app that you can get on Android, and that opens up uh, you know, a few little settings. Not a big deal. I, you know, I think the real reason to consider it, though, is you have to have that Pixel Buds app if you want to upgrade the firmware. So mm. if updates oh. are a big thing for you, and for these earbuds, that's going to be, uh, you're going to need to have access at least uh, for a little while to an Android device of some kind because uh, that's the only way to update the firmware. And you're going to need a firmware update at some point to turn yes. on spatial audio for these. That's the big feature that's missing. Google has said it's coming. We don't know when. I can't remember if they said oh. later this year or just said later. Uh, whatever. I, I don't count any of that until like it actually happens. Um, so that's something that AirPods Pro have right now that these do not. I can take or leave. Uh, you know, spatial audio isn't a huge deal for me. That's where uh, Apple works with Dolby Atmos to instead of just left, right, you're going to have sounds coming from all different directions and they split up the tracks even further. So you can have, you know, one guitar here and one guitar in front of you and, yeah. and above and <laughs> really cool. Um, but like that's not a must have feature for me when I'm listening to music. Yeah. Uh, and, and there are times where it's really neat, you know, Rolling Stones, Guns N' Roses, stuff like that, where you have two dedicated guitar. It's where the music nerds and us is going to come out right now, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, right? And there are other times where it just doesn't matter at all. Yeah, yeah. No, spatial audio is something that I've, you know, I've, I've sampled a couple of times and never find myself like, oh, I've got to now listen to that album in spatial audio. Like it's never quite right. caught me. But I am, I do find that pretty peculiar that, if you are an I, if you are an iOS user and you have the Pixel Buds Pro and they don't offer spatial audio yet, which is a feature that you know I think iOS users are are more used to using, uh, or maybe this is just my assumption, but more used to using because Apple has offered it for a while now than maybe Android users are. Uh, you don't see as much of that, even though it is supported on certain Android devices. Uh, you don't see I, I don't see that called out as much, but I but I find it peculiar that you know these earbuds on iOS iOS will someday get the support for spatial audio, which is something you probably want to use on your iOS device. But yet, if you have an iOS device, there's no way to update them to get that feature. That seems yeah, like and, a real and, miss. And it, it's one of those times where I could see, like, you know, I come from the Android world. I know when people say one thing and something else ends up happening, I yeah. would <laughs> I would hold off on saying, yes, you're going to have spatial, you're going to have great spatial audio with these on iOS I just don't know. It's one of those things I could see somebody doing something really weird and it just doesn't happen because somebody said somewhere, hey, let's only put spatial audio on Android. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Don't yeah, uh, yeah. don't don't misquote me here. But uh, let you know, I'm going to hold off on that. Spatial audio is not a reason to buy these right now. I think the real reason mm -hmm. to buy these right now is, A, they're $50 cheaper than AirPods Pro. Uh, B, you're going to get there extra go. specs on Android than you would somewhere else. Uh, C, if you love the Google ecosystem, Great. Awesome. Uh, these are really good within that. D, they sound good. They feel good. That's D and E. Uh, F, I'm trying to find a way to compare them to toast. Can we work that metaphor into this section at all? Uh, um, uh, they're buttery smooth. No, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, no, they, I'm, I'm they reaching really, into my, really my archive of Android uh, Android acronyms and, and, uh, and terminology, and buttery smooth was there somewhere. So if, if you had, if you forced me to choose and say, Phil, which one is better, which one is absolutely better than the other? I will say AirPods Pro are slightly better. Not a lot. Okay. I don't know if it's a $50 difference better. I don't know yeah. that it's a deal with an, uh, with a Google, you know, earbud on an iOS device, which isn't to say you have to do anything. It's just, you're missing some features. Um, yeah. so I think if you can stay within the ecosystem, you're going to get a little more out of these, you know, with Android than you will iOS, but they are you know, by no means bad. Uh, and that price difference, especially when you consider at some point, they'll probably go on sale. Uh, that's going to help a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like scrambling to see what, uh, w what the pixel buds typically have been as far as repairability, because we actually had an interview at the top of this show with Jeffrey Fowler from the Washington post, who was talking about, you know, just the, the fact that so many of our devices have an early, death date because the battery inside yep. is fixed in so solidly and uh, th that basically when that battery is deteriorated, all you can really do is throw away the device and uh, called out the AirPods as a big kind of, uh, you know, a big example of that happening. I wonder if there's some repairability with the with the Pixel Buds 
uh, Pro, and I don't know that iFixit even has that teardown yet. I'm kind of scrambling to look for it right now, but yeah, they might not. There, there's actually a company out of South Florida, I believe it's called PodSwap, that does. Uh, they basically refurb AirPods and will sell you back, you know, pretty cheap. Um, oh, okay. I've I've done it a couple times, and it's been a little hit and miss. Uh, but that's just kind of a, a testament to the Apple ecosystem and how you get those second and third order effects that Google stuff just doesn't get yet. It's gotten better over yeah. for sure. Uh, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's super, super important uh, to point that out. Okay, cool. So, But it sounds like your desert, desert Island pick, if you had to choose between one of these, it sounds like it's AirPods Pro, but slightly. And again, my first question back to you is going to be, well, what phone are you taking with you? Yeah, that's um, probably most you know, if important. You're, if you're yeah. taking an iPhone, go with the AirPods Pro. If you're taking an Android phone, by all means, take these. Yeah, right on. Cool. Well, I can't wait to get mine. Like I said, I'm hoping to get the delivery today, and you better believe I'm going to use them because uh, I've, I've used the A series. I've used the the series before. The only version of the Pixel Buds that I have not had is the wired one, the original one that you were talking about. Those never made a whole lot of sense to me. but uh, So I'm looking forward to it, and even more so now after talking with you. Always great to get a chance to talk with you, man. Thank you so much for coming on today, sure. Phil. Uh, digitaltrends.com. If people want to follow your work and your daily musings online, where can they find you? I am Phil Nickinson on all the things. All Not the Phil Mickelson. He, he's been in the right. news a little bit lately, and I've been getting tagged. <laughs> Phil Nickinson. Be careful. <laughs> I can yes. imagine uh, that's probably followed you for a good a good amount of time online. Yep. Right on. Well, thank you, Phil. Uh, appreciate it. We'll talk cool. with you soon. Thank you, guys. See you.